Hi guys, it's me again. Imagine that. It's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess Today and I just got a wild idea. Not too wild. <laughs> but, um, well, I just started filming and there's Gracie. But she's going the other way. Uh oh. Oh, okay. It's all good. Anyway, so, you know, my um, tag box, those shouldn't be in there. Those are real good tags. Um, is, there's one I made. Um, they're getting, it's getting full. And I want to go through and actually create some tag art. Um, and so, uh, I, the first thing I did was some of these were rounded and some of them weren't. And the ones that weren't rounded, I went ahead and rounded the corners with my round, corner rounder. And now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, gesso them. So, um... You know, maybe not. I think what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to collage on them first. So let me grab some some collage uh, stuff, my scraps to collage. I'm just going to use some of the uh, scraps that I have in here. And um, yeah, and because that'll give it some nice texture. So I'm going to go ahead and just collage on these. So let's just collage and then see where these takes us. This takes us, this is kind of shiny. I probably should, um, what do you call, oh, you know, I stamped this. I'm going to use that. I probably should stand that, but it's just not going to happen right now. So, so I'm just going to throw a few things on here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Again, um, this is just some tissue paper that came out of like a, a shoe box or something. It's, you know, it doesn't feel like real tissue, tissue paper. Let's see, I wonder if the other side is less, I think the other side might be less shiny. Let's roll with that. Hear the dogs out there, sorry about that. That will happen. When you have a uh, video going, everything in the world happens at once, right? And I'm, why am I using collage when I should be using um, glue stick? It's all right. This is my old school way of doing it. That's how I used to do it. Until I found the wonder of glue stick. Let's switch, shall we? I was playing earlier with some paint um, on my... That one's upside down. I don't care because... Um, not about the tissue that pattern, right? It's about the tissue. But well, if some of the pattern shows up, that would be okay too. You see what I'm doing? Running in the way here. I got everything. In I'm a mess. You know, you know the drill. You know, I might not be good at collage, but I really do like collage. Um, when I go to museums and I see collage, I actually fall in love with it. I just love it. I love how, um, how it looks and the, uh, the feeling that it invokes, you know. So, we'll get there. Tracy, your, um, I've got your um, gel pa deli paper out. I hope it's not just like the one you have. Mine's mine too, so I'm a little concerned that maybe you have the right stuff. But um, you know, it doesn't look the same as on on lot. You know, when you're watching it on a video, it might be the same stuff. But that's okay. Now you'll just have more. 
but I'm giving you the exact same stuff that I use. As a matter of fact, just hang on to it until you see my video, because I'm going to do a video. What are you doing, honey? You're making a lot of racket in there. It's okay. Just Are you okay? Lauren, what's going on? Are you doing? Yeah, I am. And you're being noisy. And that's okay, because that's life. Just as long as there's no obscene bodily functions going on. <laughs> I, prob I probably just lost 10, 10 subscribers. <laughs> I no, I'm not live. I don't want to do live. Although I kind of want to do live. Excuse me, guys. I'm having a conversation with my daughter. I kind of want to do live because then maybe people can say, no, don't do it that way. Do this. Or, you know, I think I could learn a lot more if I was live. You know? Yeah, and talk to people. And there's so many great people online. All right. Well, that's great. That's perfect. Let's do another one. Go ahead and do this one. And I'm going to go ahead and just use the same same tidbits. Use up this paper. I made it. Might as well use it. I like it. So. Anyway, so my, my daughter brought me home some Hi, what were those called? What did I say? Hydrangeas today for Mother's Day. They're so beautiful. You know, any flower is a beautiful flower, in my opinion, as long as it's white. I've got this thing about white flowers. I love them. My favorite flower in the world is a white peonies. That's my most favorite. And that only comes out a couple of times a year. As a matter of fact, it's out right now. But I just haven't gotten, gotten them. They're usually pretty expensive. And um, Trader Joe's usually has them. By the way, if you're a peonies fan, if you get, but you have to get the first thing in the morning or they're gone, especially around here. Like these ladies in this area, mm -hmm. they know a good deal when they see it because they're really wealthy. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. But that's how the rich get richer. Okay. This is going to be cool. I just have to find a color that resonates with me today. Boy, I was working with this phthalo blue out of the artist loft. That is the darkest color, and the only reason I actually even probably know how to pronounce this is because I watched that Bob person online. Was that guy with the happy little trees and the happy little accidents? What was his name? The big hair guy. He used to use the big brush to do his art. Anyway, um, he used to use thalo blue all the time. So, um, but yeah, it's dark. It's super dark. Why isn't this sticking down? I feel like I've done that before a couple of times. Can you see what I'm doing? I hope so. I'm not paying attention very well. Let's get some darker. This is one of my favorite stamps. I got that from Michaels. Love it. Um, yeah. I really do. I'm good. I'm good. Just keeps looking more. There we go. Yeah, I got my first thumbs down I mean, the other day. It was kind of... It happened, you know. I mean, I think it was because I dropped a... Um, dropped a drawer. It could have been the content. It wasn't that great, too. I get it. But I dropped a drawer. And, hey, this is... Let's get messy, you know. And it's going to happen. And I left it there. She couldn't see it. Or they, he, she, whatever, couldn't see it. Um, but I just don't think they were too impressed with my disorganization. 
But I guess the name of my channel should kind of give you a, it's kind of indicative of what's going to happen here. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. You'll have that, as my Liz would say. Her and her mom both say that. It's adorable. You'll have that. I think it's the same as you. That'll happen. Look, I'm just going to leave that there because I'm just add whatever. So I know that I stamped this with stays on or at least uh, Ranger ink, so I know that it's not going to be... Um, water soluble. I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause and continue. Yeah, and back. Okay, I finished with the collage of the um, t tissue paper and now I'm just going to add a little bit of gesso to um, make it a little easier. I didn't do a very good job there, did I? Well, let's see if I can glue that down a little bit better than I did. Um, there we go. What else? What evs? That's what I say. Look at oh, you know what it is? It's this. I was right about that shiny. It look at that. That shiny. That might not work. Let's just see how well I can. Let's just see what happens. You know, let's roll with it. Maybe once all the pink gets on there, it will be okay. We'll see. So that one's gessoed, and um, this one's gessoed. I think it should have been um, sanded, right? Live and learn. Okay. Hmm. Windows open, so if you hear any loud noises, I apologize in advance. Advance. Okay, I'm kind of putting it on thick now because I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I have a little block sander that I picked up at the 99 cent store and I've used it for um, when I altered a deck of cards. I altered a deck of playing cards and added things to them. That was fun. That's a long time ago. I don't mind these bubbles. It's fine. And I'm going to add a little bit more to this one. Let's finish what's off. What's up already on the That should dry fairly quickly. Okay, so what I've, I've done is I've chosen some different colors for each tag. So I have the yellows for this specific tag, greens for this tag, um, this pink and lavender uh, for this tag, and then um, blues for this other tag. So I'm going to put this on pause and blow these. Um, dry real quick. Dry enough. Dry enough for for our needs. <laughs> Let's be real. We don't have to worry about these ever uh, ending up in the Louvre, right? <laughs> Cheers, guys. And Gracie's sitting up the window. She looks so cute. I'm going to miss her tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. Oh my god. Shoot me now. And that's all right. That's all right. Do I want to use my finger or do I want to use a brush? I'm going to use my finger because I'm lazy. Why not? Let's, uh, let's get them both on there at the same time. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Put some paint down over there. Oh, that's a pretty soft blue, isn't it? I like that. That's really pretty. You can barely see the writing, and that's fine with me. I don't mind a bit. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, 
Yeah. It's gonna be pretty pretty um this is a pretty now why did I think that that might not show through? Really? Why, why did I think that that wouldn't be a problem right there, huh? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We'll add to it. Maybe I'll let that dry and then put a little put a little bit more on it once. Okay, so we're gonna say good for that one. And I have a wet washcloth here just for that. Good girl, Gracie. She's scratching the post instead of the couch. Love that one. She figures that, that that's what she should be doing. Let's shake these up. Okay, a little bit down on the paper. So yeah, I've been wanting to get to these tags. I need to poke a hole in this one. This is going to be one of those that needs to... I'm going to make a... A hole. I've been wanting to get through these tags for so long, and I was collecting them forever. And then I decided, well, what? I have to. I had to stop. I was like, um, that's enough. That's enough tags. Um, yeah, you can you can really have a problem. I think collecting tags if you're not careful. Mine weren't off of clothes. I don't buy. I'm not a big clothes hoarder like I used to be. Oh my god. When I was uh, when I was single and I didn't have any kids. I mean, I'm still single, but I didn't have any kids. Um, I used to go shopping, like, all the time, right? It's been, I'd go to the mall once a month and drop a boat. A ton of money. And, um, that's, it's, it was obscene. But, you know, I didn't think about, oh, Geez, someday I might have to retire. Oh, geez, someday I might be a single mom and have a kid. Oh, geez, college is expensive. Yeah, that never dawned on me, because I'm blonde like that. Anyway, it's all right. Look at the suits bubbling up, and I don't care. Like I said, these aren't going to end up in the Louvre. I'm not too terribly worried about it. That's a pretty color, right? Okay, there we go. So that one is finished. Now let's move on to the greens. Don't know why I feel like just doing I'm kind of all over the place as far as color goes. Feels good to be throwing down some paint today instead of just collaging with... Oh, look where that ended up. Nice. Nice. Well, we have a double duty stencil. Not my favorite green, but actually when I look at it, it's not awful, is it? Once you get it on paper, it looks terrible in the in the uh, bottle. Shamrock green. It looks just awful in the bottle, but it's not so bad. On here. This one is that um, kiwi. It looks awful too, but woo, hello. Hey, well. We got a guy from New Zealand. He calls himself a Kiwi. Isn't that funny? I just didn't know that. Not Australians. I don't know what they're called. He calls them something. There's a thing between um, Austra Austra Austrian, oh no, Australians. And, um, there's like a thing, um, between Australians and, um, New Zealand people. They have a thing. I'm kind of mean, like a, like a, um, good-natured, um, little, you know, banter. You know, nothing awful, I don't think. It seems to me like it was all in fun. Oh, my fun. I'm not hating this color. You know, I don't know. I don't think it's terrible. And this is blending actually fairly nicely. Have you guys noticed I'm not a detail-oriented person? I'm sure you've noticed. And, um... 
Yeah, that's just how I am. I'm not a detailed person. I can see, I notice that when I watch people online, I think, oh my gosh, they're so detail oriented and I wish I could be like that. But when I'm done, I'm done. Um, when it's good, it's good. I just, that's how I am. I, I'm born that way, I guess. So, oh, this is pretty, these two greens. I would have never put those together before, but I'm glad I did now. I like that. I like that. I like that you can still read some of the, you know, text through there. Okay, so now we're done with the green. Let's move on to the yellow. Wipe off my stencil, my double duty stencil. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, I was going to add this metallic. Should I? Mm, each one has a little pinch. So let's just do a little pinch. Just a pinch. Just here and there. No, just a, there we go. It's not going to hurt anything. I kind of like it better without it, but that's okay. How that happened? <laughs> like that, like that lighting through there. Okay, so let's do the yellow one now. Okay. I don't have any metallic for the yellow. I don't think I have any metallic yellow, but that's okay. This is pretty. It's actually really nice. All right, I hope the yellow covers that blue. Maybe make it a green or something. I don't know. Probably not because it's not going to blend. But we'll see. Oh my gosh. This is the, uh, oh, this is that awful paint. I bought this paint like when I first started out and it's awful. It's really gooey. Pretty great. Hi, honey. How you doing? How you doing, honey? <laughs> Are you in a quagmire over there? Yeah, well, that'll happen because I have been kind of busy. Just playing today. And I'm not cleaning up my mess until I'm going to bed. Before I go to bed, I kind of put everything away. Try to make it um, organized so in the morning I don't go. Oh, no. To do that, this kiwi looks yellow. This is going to be pretty because it's really going to be light enough to let that show through, and I like that. This is not a better better paintbrush than your fingers, is there, guys? Especially if you're a tactile person. I kind of tend to be a tactile person. I love the feel of things. I learn by what my fingers tell me, I guess. I don't know. Oh, pretty. Pretty in pink. That was not good. Um, yeah, let's wipe that off. A messy girl, huh? Guess you know that about me by now. Making sure I'm in the frame. It kind of turned into a green, didn't it? Okay, I think I'm good with that one. That's fine. I could go over that one. 
a little bit more of this. Eliminate. There we go. All right. So there's that. Um, I had a method to my madness. This is going to be for that. This. Oh, okay. I'm going to pause this while I take care of things. Guys, okay, I'm back. Um, let's see. What did I do? Oh, yeah. So what I did was, I don't know if you can see it. I, I think you can. I added some stenciling using this stencil that's probably one of my favorites. I don't know who it is. Um, sorry, I'm not real good about keeping that. But I added it to a few of them, and I, and I really like it. I'm going light for a reason. Um, I plan on making the stencil, the larger stencil, the image but I wanted to go ahead and do this last one and show you this real quick. I just wrap it around my finger like that, go like so. Am I in there? Yeah. And uh, just do a little bit here. And I just kind of rub like that. I don't, I don't, you know, you can dab like that. That works as well. See, that looks pretty good. So, go top to bottom or whatever so that you um, can uh, have room so that you don't go over this, you know, wreck what, wreck what you've already done, you know, because I'm a pro, right? <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, this is that uh, Heidi Swap metallic texture paste. It's not a texture paste. It's more like a um, paint, a thick paint. So, you know, it's okay. I'm using it this way and I like it. I like that it's metallic and you know, $1.99 for this big thing of metallic. I'm good. I'm good. Actually, you know, when I come to think of it, I don't think I actually have any black metallic, so now I do. So I'm good. Really good. All right, let's just add a little bit there. Okay, so now that that is done, I want to go ahead and, um, these are dry. It's been a while. I kind of turned off the video for a while and chatted with my daughter. I'm going to take the, I think they're dry. What if they're not? What if they're not that dry? I think they are. I'm just gonna add some light, um, little tiny grungy squares to this. Um, I actually didn't end up using these like I thought I was going to and that's fine. And I'm trying to think of how, how do I want to do this? And you know what I think I'm going to go ahead and use? I'm going to use that, the black. Actually, it's not a black. Let's look at it. It's not a black. I don't think this is black. It looks gray to me. Like, it's not a true black. I guess I could add black to it if it turns out to be too gray. Let's check it out. So kind of fun having all these different colors in front of me. Um, well, I guess that's what makes it metallic. Let's roll with that. Let's go ahead and roll with that. We're fine. This, okay, and that one's the last one. This is the first one. So, I'm going to test it a little bit. Yeah, the less that you have on your, um, that's better. I like it really light. So see, that's like perfect amount of grunge for me. I, I don't like it too, too much. Ah, oh, like that, that's too much. What did I just say? Hello. That's all right. Just a little bit of grunge. Grunge it up a little bit. Maybe does it look shiny? A little bit. Okay. I'm gonna turn this over because that thing really tears it up. Stacy, I'm uh, Tracy. I'm sending you a piece of this. So, just so you know, I shouldn't have told you, but I know you might want to wonder about it. And I thought, you know what? I think Tracy would love that. Unless you already have some. If you do, let me know. Because your package is getting put together, but it hasn't gone out yet. And it won't for a minute. Um, a few days. I'm working on it. 
I'm working on it. I'm not sure I love that, but you know what? When it all gets said and done, it'll all work. It will all work out. Just kind of like it. I like it a little darker on this one. Let's go a little bigger. It's fine. It's just fine. I actually like it on this green one. For some reason, it looks good. Maybe it's the way I'm doing it. Maybe because I was doing it too up. You know, I think that's what I did wrong on this one. I was like straight up and down and not around, you know. This one gave it a little bit more. Because see that up and down? It, it works better around. That's okay. Living and learning. Living and learning. Mm-hmm. This really got torn up, didn't it? Well, I think it's done. Okay, so there we go. Um, yeah, it's a pretty shiny um, paint. It's not it's no texture paint. All right, so. I have these in an order for a reason because I kind of know what I want where. I'm going to, this one's going to be a little challenging because I don't really have anything that I want to stamp on it. This one I have a stamp, this one I have a stamp, this one I have a stamp, this one I just have some um, flourishes is what they were called. That's what I was trying to say earlier, flourishes. But that's okay because I think I'll just make the flourish and the word that I put on here. And then of course I'm going to edge them. Um, and so, yeah. All right, uh, I didn't want to have a thick texture paste on this because of the fact that I didn't stamp and then texture paste. I'm, I did this um, uh, stenciling before I stamped. And usually I think that's done afterwards, but of course I don't know. So here we go, I'm going in, I'm gonna stamp. This one, I chose my, um, really pretty, inexpensive um, sunflower. And look at that. You can tell I haven't cleaned it. I hope it works well. Well, we'll see. You know me. Let me look at this really quick. How do I do this? How am I going to do this? Like, I'm just going to set it right there. And so if I set it right there, like on the edge, be fine. Okay. Actually, I'm going to try this other. I'm going to try my big pad. I think one of these is going, like, not. It's not, um. Let's try it. Yeah, see. Well, I think that was just the way I did it. Let's try it again. Look at those fingers. I have to hide that for work tomorrow. That'll be fine. Okay. Cute, huh? I like that sign. I got that at a thrift store for three bucks. Three dollars. I couldn't pass it up. I know Tracy loved it, too, and I really... I'm really glad she found one. And they're pretty. Kind of reminds me of like back in the 70s. Oh, here I go again telling you the story. Back in the 70s, I knew, I, I was a little girl. I was all over the place. But there was this lady that painted. Imagine that. I would be, um, I would be drawn to somebody like that. Imagine that. 
anyway, she painted one of these on her walls. She was a renter, I'm sure, but man, gosh, did she make that place look great. I'm scared. I'm gonna put that there to help me line up. Actually, it doesn't have, I don't have, you know what I mean? Let me do this. There. Let me line this thing up. Watch it be crooked after all of that nonsense. Really? It's okay. It's not the greatest. But maybe that texture paste. Oh, you know what it is, guys? Hello, Don Marie. It is the um, collage. That's what you'll get. I'm okay with that. Because look how nice it did on here without the collage. It's a big diff. But that's okay. I like it rough, right? We, <laughs> I like it. And it's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right. So that's, that's that one. And now the pink one and now I won't be shocked when it's not perfect right I love this stamp this one is another one I think this is another cheapie that I got at the thrift store I'm not sure there's this lady she got rid of all of her stamps I think she went to this kind of stamps the um, rubber stamp and um, this is an Inkadoo by the way if anybody's interested Inkadoo and uh, Woburn Mass um, she must have got rid of all of her stuff because, um, let me see how this looks. That's fine. Um, because she, I mean, there was all kinds of card making stuff, which I am not a major fan of card making because I don't like to do anything twice. Well, twice is probably okay, but I don't like to do anything more than twice. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of repetition, so I'm going to go ahead and just do this. Yeah. So anyway, so I picked up all this, these stamps, and I did pick up some card making stuff from her. Unfortunately, I think she was a smoker, so I had to um, give some of the uh, card stock and stuff away, which is fine. I kept some of the stuff, so yeah, it's fine. It's not perfect, and that's perfectly fine. So, just some cute little tags. I am not trying to trip here. I love those stamps. I don't use them enough, so it was really fun for me to get out today and use those. Okay, so this one is going to be these flourishes. Just all over the place. I think I'll just use the one because this 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 one right here is too I could put it on like that though. Well let me try this one. Oh notice how I have them in these CDs things they don't work very good. You have to put them in um DVD things are better, but I still haven't figured out a way to organize my stamp uh, drama. So, anyway. Oh my gosh, do you guys realize it's been two years? Like today, that I started um, this... Oh my gosh, I wondered why I was feeling so kind of depressed. And I think it's because it's been two years. It was like the 27th that I, lo I, missed, I lost my mom. She was 94. Um, <laughs> what a great lady she was. She raised nine kids on her own. And, um, which is... No small task, let me tell you, especially when you're all headstrong, just like me, you know. Oh, I should have turned that a little bit. Anyway, so that was okay. But here, I have to tell you something. The neighbor, 
the neighbor, a guy, I don't know very well, I see him occasionally, um, was outside the other day and I asked him if I could borrow his, um, like, uh, he's got a rack in his garage and they had their surf stuff on there and stuff and I, you know, it's like for clothes and stuff, normal people use it for clothes, hangers, not surf stuff, but anyway, I asked him if I could borrow it because we're having a garage sale next week. He says, yeah. He goes, I don't use it. My maid uses it. And I go, you have a maid? I'm like, that's awesome. He goes, yeah. He goes, you know, I'm a single dad and everything. And, and I'm thinking, you wuss. <laughs> you know, I'm a single mom too. Just because you're a single dad, does that mean you get to have a, a you know, a, a maid? Oh my God, really? Like, I don't know, these singles dads, they, like, tend to, like, really, and dads that are hands-on, you know, they actually, actually act like it's, like, wonderful that they do it. Well, they're supposed to do it. That's their job. <laughs> All right, don't get me started. <laughs> I'll have a tab of slip on that one. So, anyway, this one, it's cute. I love these flourishes. I really, really do. I think they're pretty. Okay, in this one, I have these two little guys, and I'm just going to do that. That. So. Should I do that, or should I do that? I think I should do that. Okay. archival it just like stays on I got two of these that's what made me think about two years ago because when um, the last Mother's Day two years ago my birthday I was born on Mother's Day and my birthday I was actually born on Mother's Day I couldn't believe it and then no, I couldn't believe it I was like a year old and I couldn't believe it no I'm kidding um so my mom and I had kind of have, had a special bond, even though she had nine kids. You know, I always like to think that I was her favorite, but we all did, because that's what a good mom does. She makes you all feel like you're special and individual and you're her favorite. Anyway, um, so um, I ha was on a thing with my kid, a golf tournament thing, and I, did, I left this at home, and so I had to buy two, so I have another one of these. But I haven't run out of ink since, you guys. This either, two years. As long as you keep that plastic thing on it, it won't go bad. This is really good ink. And it's, you know, obviously it's not going anywhere. Once you put it on there, it's down for the count, so. Mm, that girl has a quite a laugh. At least she's laughing. When I hear people outside that are laughing, I don't get mad. Or when I hear the kids playing, I'm all happy. But when I hear, like, that little girl next door... Like dot or like crying, like somebody's killing her. That really bothers me. So anyway, okay. So there's the stamping jobs done. So what I have planned now, if they're dry, I don't know. I'll hit these with a gun. Hold on. I'm back. Um, I got a lot done. I didn't want to do a lot on on um, video tonight, um, today, actually, because, I don't know, I just thought that it would have been a long, long one. And um, so what I did was I just, I don't even know where I left off, actually. I um, finished stamping, and then I... Um, let these dry and then I put a backing on each one so that each one has a back to it. Um, I used a glue stick and an Elmer's glue on each one. Um, I've learned that on, I think from Jenny Belly, she used two or three different kinds of glues for certain things, but I just wanted to use um, the um, uh, one kind. And then I actually, uh, these were some paint uh, chips, not paint chips, but wood um, chipboard that I had, and they were white, and I've had them in my stash forever and a day, 
And so I paint I uh, painted them black with my uh, Delusions black ink. And then I went, oh, I, I tried to decide whether I wanted to use like stickles or glue or, you know, something else on them. But the easiest thing to do, and actually the best thing to do, was to go ahead and just put the um, Mod Podge glitter on it. So I'm going to do that to the last one here. It's a Mod Podge glitter. I'm going to get these out of the way just in case because you know how I roll, right? Mm hmm. So anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put those on and then um, go from there. So I love this this uh, extreme glitter glue. It's really thick though. I mean, there's just like, you couldn't get it out of there if you tried. It's like so thick. I, maybe, maybe it's an old can. Remember, this is the uh, stash that, that girl at work gave to me. And um, so... Yeah, I don't know how old it was when, you know, I don't know how old it is. So, I don't care. It can be super old. I wonder if you get, like, if it starts to get really, really thick, like, kind of, like, it is kind of. If you can, like, add a, um, I bet you could add regular Mod Podge to it. Yeah, so, anyway. So yeah, I'm using up my stash. I didn't need to go to Michael's and do that haul yesterday after all, did I? No, I'm actually glad I did. I'm intimidated by those new journals, though, I have to tell you, I'm not, and I'm not lying. The little one with the watercolor spots on it, I'm not afraid of that one. But the, the one that's like really bound and nice, I'm a little nervous about using that one. Oh well. I, I mean, it's all part of the process, right? This doesn't, these aren't, this one isn't going on as nice as the others. That's all right. And these tags were fun today. This was a fun thing to do once I finished the um, business envelope junk journal. This was a lot of fun. So, there. So, okay, that's nice and shiny. I think... I think that'll dry up nicely, hopefully. All right, so let me put that in there. Where's my water? Oh, right there. All right, so um, once I put the backs on these, I was a little concerned about this part right here. I'm gonna deal with that later. I'll probably have to use my, um, this right here to get that out. I'm not looking forward to that. I only have, well, I have three to do, so that's not going to be fun. All right, so let's go ahead and glue these, um, glue these on. The blue, this was going to be Hello, Hello Sunshine, right? How cute. Hello Sunshine. This is going to be the Love, and I'm just going to put it right there because that stamp is not perfect. I don't, you know, the grunge is in a weird spot, and why not? That's fine. That's fine. Oh, that pressure feels good. This is going to be always because it fits. It fits nicely. And then this one is going to be Believe. And I think that's kind of going to be all that goes on this one. Unless I found something that goes right there at another, at another day. Right now I have nothing to go on there. So... But I think that's pretty. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, do that Jenny Billy edging thing that I like so much. So um, let's go ahead and get these glued down. Let's let this one dry. And so some of these have um, a backing on them. They've got backing. It's really nice to be able to use these finally. Like I've had them forever. So it's so nice to be able to um, finally use them. It's like really great. They've been in my word stash for a long time. I don't think you need to put this on every single space. So I'm not worried about it. Dries clear. Not too worried. Hello. Perfect. There we go. That's cute. Oh, so one almost done. Let's do 
hard to believe. Let's take this off. I already took it off of a couple of them. Like the love. I think I took off the love one. So yeah. I think I've been at my craft table as long as my back kind of hurts. And I was not walking this week because I didn't feel good, but it's made me feel worse. And so tomorrow I'm back to walking. Tuesday and Thursday I'm back to my step class. No more messing around. Heck. That did not feel good to... You know, and I always know better. I always know that I'm not going to feel good if I don't go. So what am I doing, right? So shame on me. So, um, yeah. There's two. I love this stamp. I think I already took that, yeah. It's yellow. Okay, this is gonna be another long video. Sorry. Um, I tried to shorten it by doing a lot off camera. Um, some people like the longer videos, you know. I like longer videos when I'm, I like to craft along. Um, or, you know, whatever. I don't have to be crafting in order to be listening. Sometimes I like to listen along. There we go. Always. Oh, that's cute. It doesn't matter. It's going to be very clear anyway. I have to poke a hole in that one. Edge it. Of course, they all need to be edged. I love these tags. This was a really great, I already took that note partially, great thing for me to do today to, after I did my, like I think I just said this, after I did my, um, my journal, once I finished that, it just was fun to start something else, getting ready for some swabs. I've already got my little piles going. Um, I still have to do that one swap that I'm not sure of for textile junkies or textile something. So I've got to get busy with that. This is going to be fun. I always mess that up. So anyway. So let me go mess these up and I will be right back. Hi right, guys. I'm back. Okay. We're winding it up here. Um, I was able to do a pretty good job. I mean, on here, I didn't mess these up too badly. Um, they're fine. The only one that got messed up was the first one I did, and then I just took, went ahead and took a little bit of paint and went over where the um, scrap paper got a little messed up. But you know what? Hey, handmade, right? Okay, so I was going to go ahead and do the Jenny Belly thing, which I think is would be cute. But actually... I'm going to go ahead and just go around them like this and see how that works. I think that that will be just fine. Um, just to ink them up a little bit, um, even if it gets on there a little bit, I don't mind that at all. I mean, I think that's a great way to finish them off and edge them off. So yeah, there we go. We'll do that. And then I'm going to find some... Um, yeah, that's perfect. Then I'm going to find some fibers to put on them. And uh, go from there. This project took a while, but it was a fun project. I actually had fun doing this project. It was awesome. You know? I mean, I have been doing all my projects with some. Some projects are better than others. And this one, I loved it. it took me all afternoon. why I actually bought this stays on is for this specific reason not as a stamp but just so I could do this I saw a cat hand do it and she's just 
She's a fun YouTube artist to watch. If you haven't watched her, you need to do that. Oh, I still I don't know what's going here. And um, it might be nothing. I might leave it to the recipient to find something that they want to put on there, which is fine. Because these are going to go out to my wonderful uh, YouTube friends. I have made some phenomenal... I've met some phenomenal people online. And... Um, I can't tell you how much your support and kindness has meant to, meant to me since I, you know, started doing this. Um, not everybody's wonderful, but boy, I have sure found some wonderful people um, in my uh, area on the online. So anyway, these turned out pretty good, right? They're cute. Oh, and I put a created by stamp on there, and I'll probably sign the back and date it. I did that on all of them. So I'm going to go find some fibers, and again, in the, just to be uh, quick and, and not take too much of your time, I'll be right back. Hi, guys. I'm back. Well, it looks like they turned out super cute. I just went ahead and used all black fiber. Um, black, I just decided it is like, you know, it just dawned on me this week that that is a color... Is it a color? Achromatic? Whatever. Chromatic? It, whatever. It's the color. It's my favorite. It's one of my favorite. It always has been. And um, so it just looked good with these um, these uh, tags. And so that's it. These are done. And I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was a really fun video for me. And so... Um, I'm looking forward to sharing some more um, crafts with you. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, have a great one. Bye.